Hi folks, welcome to... God, that was loud, wasn't it? <laughs> How loud have I got this turned up? I need to for myself. Um, welcome to, or welcome back to Exposed. And if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here, I'd love it if you subbed. I saw Lisa did a Q&A and I'm just desperate for her to impart some wisdom. Shall we jump in? <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today we're going to do one of my favourite... Sorry, sorry, sorry. You know I watch everything on double speed. Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today we're going to do one of my favourite videos, and that is a good old question. Why is she sat in a corridor with no door on it? I saw a quick bit of a uh, video a couple of days ago where she was going on about her new recording room. So this is her new recording room, which is basically a fucking corridor. One, why didn't she get a door put on the end? And why is she sitting with her back to an open door? And she said in that video she was going to turn the light at the end off, which she hasn't done. Is she too scared to walk from the light switch to the end of the room? Probably that's what it is. And then she said, Oh, I had a hell of a time with the light in the other room. So we moved in here because it's only got one window and we got a blackout blind for it. But I've got it open today because it's sunny. So what was the fucking point of that then? <sighs> this woman. I swear, John has the patience of a saint. She would be derried, uh, derried, derried under the patio. She would be buried under the patio if she was anything to do with me. And again, look at her hair on the right hand side. Brush your fucking hair. <sighs> Haven't even started and I'm done. <laughs> Question and answer. One, any advice for dry feet and heels? Oh my. Really? Are these the sort of questions that they're asking her and she's choosing to answer? Oh, holy hell. This is going to be a long one. My gosh, I have like a miracle product, a miracle. And I will link that video up here that it's a cream that literally changes your feet so much that when I go get a pedicure, she asked me what I was using. That Do you do your nails yourself? No. Sometimes I do, like if I change my polish, but I have one woman that I go to and she will do my nails and my feet while I'm getting a pedicure so I don't have to spend that extra time. And I, she likes to do it. I like to pay her and tip her. So we do that. But she does my nails while she does my pedicure. How does that work? Am I being dim here? How does that fucking work? How can she do your feet and your hands at the same fucking time? I want to meet this woman. Has she got four hands? So I do get a manicure and pedicure, but I do paint my nails sometimes too. Have you tried the glass powder from Rodial? I'm on my last container of Laura Mercier. I have it on my face now, under my eyes. I am obsessed with it. It's my new... Laura Mercier. It's lighter in texture, but not in color, and it's more neutral. That's what I would say about that. Okay, here's a good one from Wanda. I love Wanda. If you could only choose five pieces of clothing, what would that be? We all know what that would be. Javiana's leggings, t-shirts, moto jacket, faux fur, job done. Thanks for being here. Thank you for being here. Hands down, it would be a black blazer of some sort. And today I wore one that I just got and it is on sale. So I'm going to make sure I edit and put this video up so you can get it on sale. I did not get it on sale. Maybe I should call and see if they'll credit me. But you guys know how much I love a black blazer and you know how much I love fringe. This is a fringed leather black blazer from Mango. So you know it wasn't crazy expensive to be. Is it 1970? Have we gone back in time? How many black leather fucking jackets have you got? Really? Waste much? 
genuine leather. It's got the shoulder pads in it. I got the small part of me wishes I had gotten the medium. Why? Because I like oversized. But then when I put it on today, I thought, okay, I like it. I've seen another one that I really like on Free People. And it's exactly the same fucking thing. Oh, God, Lord, please. Tell us we're not going to see her out in a fucking ultra mini white dress with her jacket on and boots. Uh, you just know that's what she's thinking about, don't you? And that one is suede. So maybe I'll get that one a little bit more oversized. I don't know, but a black... Why do you need an... Ugh. Black blazer, a black moto, an amazing pair of jeans like I have on today. I have on a pair of Gap jeans. I wore them in my shoe video. I'll put that up here. They are so good and they're on sale right now. They're not even expensive to begin with. They're like $79. Oh, really? Really? $79 for a pair of jeans is not expensive. In whose fucking world? Do you know people are going without food to put the heating on? Do you have any fucking idea what is really happening in this world today? And you're sat there going on about you need a fucking suede jacket that looks like the leather jacket you're wearing. And now you're telling people that $79 for a pair of jeans isn't expensive. Fuck you, Lisa. Jesus. How does anybody listen to this woman? I've still got people coming here telling me to leave her alone. No, I won't. Fuck off. And now I think they're 40 something and they are so good. Oh, I know what it is. In my Gap video, remember, I'll put that up here. No. Remember when I showed you the girlfriend jeans, the real light ones, and I asked you guys, should I keep them? Well, they were just too light for me. So I took them back and they had the same jeans in this wash. They're kind of like a blend of the AYR bomb or the pop and my favorite. I just can't. I can't with this woman. I really, really can't. I wish someone had... No, see, that's the thing. I was going to say, I wish someone had asked her, does she have a clue what's actually happening outside of the walls of her fucking house? But if they did, she wouldn't answer it, would she? Oh, just put them horrible thoughts out your head. All right, Lisa, yeah, while people are dying and starving and fucking freezing to death, you go out and buy your $79 fucking jeans and however much your leather jacket cost you and now the suede one to match mother denim tomcat they're kind of like a blend of those two must have we've got a moto jacket a pair of jeans my blazer a cami of some sort cami tank bodysuit today wow i'm getting to do my outfit today i have on the skims bodysuit this is a funny story this is going to be a long video Oh, I'm sure this story is going to be fucking hysterical. Lisa, can you please remember that you've got a microphone pinned to your coat and that your arms and your hair and everything else ruffling against it means people can't hear you. Not that I want to fucking hear you, but there are morons out there that are hanging on your every word. So it would be nice if you actually remembered that you're making a recording. How many years have you been doing this? so get a drink this is a bodysuit that i bought a long time ago it was when we were living at the rental house matter of fact it was before then because i moved it from my old house to there it's from skims i had ordered maybe the small medium and when you get it it's like oh my gosh it's like pulling pantyhose out well i went to wear it and it was just like a joke that thing was so tight there was just no way i was wearing it so i gave it to brooke well, Brooke wears it all the time and it is so flattering. It is the most flattering bodysuit. That, in narc speak, is I'm jealous of my daughter. That's what she's trying to say, but she won't say it outright. And for those of you that don't believe she's a covert narc, read up. And so she wore it both times that we went out of town, these past the Nordstrom sales. Gosh, let me take my microphone off real quick so I don't lose this. Let me show you this bodysuit. But I, if you don't want this one, I've got another one. 
but just look how flattering it is so pretty look how well my tits look in it see how people will be staring at my tits at your age love no one should be just staring at your tits other than your fucking husband put them away we don't want to see them so i ordered her another one and i ordered this one and it is a large extra large and this is how tight it is it's so tight in the middle that when you go to the bathroom and you unsnap it it doesn't even go up and brooke says i know she said i wear mine without the snaps <laughs> you can just wear it you know tucked in but i would say bodysuit or tank my next favorite bodysuit matter of fact this is number two my first favorite bodysuit oh lord above can we get past this fucking question <sighs> talking a question and answer videos would anyone be interested in me doing a question and answer video i probably told you everything that you'd want to ask me by now but if anyone's interested drop a question and i'll do that when i've got a few to answer cami especially shapewear is honey love that one you cannot beat the comfort and the lift it gives good lift it gives lift this way not lift that way that's not lift <laughs> <Fuck's sake. laughs> since when does lift come from the side it comes from underneath you fuck with that's not lift like that yeah because it fucking isn't and what's even funnier is lardy thought she'd get some and she couldn't fucking get into it <laughs> oh these people what planet are they on so we've got blazer moto jeans a cami underneath my next favorite thing would be gosh it's going to be it it's seasonal in the summer it would have they just said pick five things that you'd have to live in for the rest of your days they didn't say pick your five favorite did you even listen to the question to be a black dress in the winter it would have to be a black pair of pants of some sort like the honey love leggings they're the best they're better than zella they're better than lululemon they're better than oh gosh any of them they're just good or trousers or something like that so that would be my favorite five pieces but you guys know i love all clothes they didn't say favorite i love different vibes i love to decide who am i going to be that day like exactly that's exactly what she does because she's never her who am I going to copy today? Where am I going? And we need to do a video on that. Like how I get dressed and how I decide what I'm going to wear. Oh, I can't wait for that one. Do you know what? I learned how to get dressed when I was two. After I made my bed with sheets and blankets. Yeah, true story. If you would like that, let me know down below. Okay, I had someone say, can you please do a get ready with me with totally different colors and makeup than you usually do? That is a tough thing for me because I am the kind of person that it's hard for me to do something that I'm not passionate about, that I don't feel good about. Would it not just be nice for you to say, okay, seeing as though you've asked me, I'll do that one day. I will put on makeup that I'm not comfortable in and clothes and then when I finish the video all I have to do is take a shower and get dressed in what I want to get dressed in and put my normal makeup on but no don't do anything the subscribers are asking you to do but she does it for you folks are you learning yet and I know this is so silly it's just yes, makeup stupid. but I don't feel like I do it well I don't feel like I do things well that i am not what's that lump in her lip has she had a few more injections oh and that bollocks what did she say big lips ran in her family uh-huh mm-hmm have they had lip injections too invested in emotionally or spiritually or mentally whatever i don't feel like i do a good job now what i will do is something different that i do like which is blue eyeshadow or purple eye 
Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. That's so kind of you to not do the, the request I asked you to do and to do something totally different that you want to do, but you're going to make out that you did it for me. That's so kind. Thank you. Shadow. But last time I wore red lip, I mean, you when you see the pictures, you can see the sadness in my eyes. And I remember when I used to work in an office, it was a bunch of girls and we used to just have the best time talking. I think it was something about going out with a guy. I don't know what it was, but someone asked me something. I don't know. I don't know who it was. And I had to tell them a story. I can't remember. I had to say something like I haven't seen anybody or something like that. And when they left, I remember looking at the girl across from me like, oh no. And she said, Lisa, she started laughing. She said, you cannot lie. You cannot lie. It was written all over your face. So I'm not good at doing things that I don't really love. And I don't love wearing red lipstick. I had several people ask me about disciplining your children when they're adults. So Sorry? Disciplining your children when they're adults? She didn't fucking discipline her children when they were children. What's she going to be disciplining them for now? Who disciplines their adult child? Surely by fucking adulthood, they've had all the discipline you can give them and they're on the right road. <sighs> disciplining your adult children. Really? So Will's 18, Brooke is 22, my only two children. My only two children. What's that mean? We know you've only got two children. And that is a, that's a video on its own. So let's do that in a separate video. Mm. Okay, someone said when you use the Laura Geller body. Yeah, because you don't know what to answer because you've never fucking disciplined them. Bronzing powder. Does it get all over your clothes? Put it on today and it might get a little. Don't you think? When she was editing this, because you can see that she edited it because there's clips jumping from here to there. Why the fuck did she not edit this out and the other bit where she's... No one wants to listen to that, Lisa. A bit on this, but not as much as self-tanner. To me, self-tanner is the grossest thing. I'm not going to say I won't do it because I will. But even when I do try on videos, if I have on self tanner, it gets everywhere. If I have on the Laura Geller body bronzer, it might get on some things, but not in the same way. I have hit pan and I've got another one on the way. And I had a lot of people ask me, will you ever cut your hair? Several things about cutting my hair. My hair is an extension of who I am. And I have never in my life met anybody that is so fucking attached to their hair as Lisa. Will you ever cut your hair? No, were you not around for the hair debacle? Anyone else remember that? Fuck's sake. I thought she'd never shut up whinging about it and it looked good, but no. And you guys know I'm very into discovering myself like <laughs> I love to find out why do I do this why do I do that why do I do good things Whoa. when I'm not talking about me or taking photographs of me I think about me but she's not a narc is she that lead to good things in my life why do i do the negative things that don't lead me where i want to go in my life so i like to really really think about things like that and if this is something that you might want to talk about let me know because i find it fascinating and that is feminine energy i always thought that i was the way i was because i'm southern but then when i started really thinking about feminine energy she thought she was the way she was because she was Southern. What stupid. Because that's letting a whole fucking area of people down. Where you were born has got nothing to do with why you're the way you are. You're the way you are because you're one, dumb. Two, disinterested in anybody other than yourself. And three, a covert fucking narcissist. Read that, Lisa. Look up covert 
C-O-V-E-R-T Narcissist and you will see a picture of you. About that, I was like, well, not all Southern women are like me. I don't know, you know, of course it's where you brought up your parents, but a lot of it is, you know, nature versus nurture. I think it's a lot of nature. I think it's more nature than nurture because you can see four children brought up by the same two parents in the same house and you can see how the sisters or the brothers will be so different. So in reading and studying why I do the things I do, I realized I have a strong feminine energy. And you can, if you don't like the word energy, you can, you know, substitute it with whatever you want. But like what? Do you know what we can substitute it with? Every time I pause a video and I see her like that, all I see is that girl at the Muppets with the long blonde hair and the red hat. Don't know what her name was, but that's Lisa. I really feel the best when I have the most feminine vibes that I can have. And my hair is a part. What bollocks are you wittering on about now? When I can have the best feminine vibes that I can have. You can be feminine with no fucking hair. Do you not think that there might be people out there going through chemotherapy that are fucking lowest of the low at the moment, crying over their lost hair, wondering will they ever get it back again, and you're sat there going on about how it makes you feminine and how brilliant it is to have long hair. You couldn't give a fuck about anyone other than yourself, could you? You never think... Think, Lisa, what you're saying before you fucking say it. Ugh, I could punch her. Part of that, it's what I find the most me. Not that I don't think other women can be very, very, very feminine with short hair or that I couldn't be, but you kind of have to go with what brings out that best feeling in you. I find my power in my femininity so that's why i love long hair not even just on me i love it on other women on little girls not to say i can't appreciate a shorter hairstyle to me if i ever did get my hair cut i love in the fro um what is her name victoria i always want to call her erica but victoria her hair that's like right here and then she keeps it kind of bouncy, fresh and curly. I think that's very feminine too. But right now I'm really enjoying, I love the way it feels on my body when I walk. I just love that feeling. I remember how I felt when I did get it cut short. Those of you that have been here with me, you remember when I had it cut short, like this short, because it was so damaged. So now I take the Note to Lisa, shoulder length hair is not short. <clears throat> I can't be doing with all this feminine energy bollocks. How the fuck do people put up with her, really, in real life? She's done about, oh, I, I can't have people like that in my life. I think I'd have one lunch with her and that would be it. Oh, can we? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy. I can't go then. But I never said, yeah, I'm busy then as well. Fuck with Time and the steps and the sacrifices to keep it healthy so that I can get it long. It also is sacrifices. somewhat of an accomplishment. It's oh, something that I wanted, sake. that I want, that I had to uh, work, work towards. I Jesus. Ah. <sighs> Uh, what can I say? What can I fucking say? That you're not all saying yourselves out there. I had to work at it. Really? How much more of there is this? I <sighs> have to not do this, not do that. I hope that answers your question. I like it. I just... At this point, I have no feelings of wanting to cut my hair. How to stay confident when aging. 
That's something I would like to do a separate video on. Oh, is everything going to be a fucking separate video? How to stay confident when aging. Get lip filler and Botox and starve yourself stupid so you go down to a size small and then wear all the things that are on fashion now and clip clop up and down your fucking corridor room and take a million pictures of yourself put on two ton of makeup first though don't fucking take pictures of yourself when you've just got out of bed because that's a definite no-no do people actually ask these questions or has she made them up herself how to be confident when you're at, oh fuck's sake. I feel strongly about that. And you know, the reason I am here is because to bore us all fucking stupid. Because part of my feminine energy that oh, I have learned, off. I was like, why do I feel the way I do about other women? Why am I not jealous? Why do I not have that feeling of wanting to break other women down like some women do when you oh hello where's your halo ah i don't break women down no i remember you and a little group of people running ladies off of youtube do you remember that back in the day before you cut your hair when you were little miss sweet and innocent we all know this now is a fucking act and the second you turn the camera off it's mean mama in full force brooke let slip in a thing once that you swear like a sailor oh my goodness that's why i take the piss out of her accent because i know she's putting it on i'm just a sweet southern belle no you're not you're a fucking lying covert narc is what you are and why is it every time i pause a video you look like a blow-up doll you are very very much in your feminine energy you love other women and you have this strong desire to help and to share you don't have a strong desire to preach or to tell someone what to do. That's why I have a hard time with that. But you really have this strong desire to share. And that's how I feel. I wouldn't say I had a strong feminine energy, but I help everybody I can. Don't go around fucking bleating about it. And I'm not two people. What you see is what you get. I ain't hiding anything. I still can't get over her fucking wanting to film in a fucking corridor. Like a roller rink. It's, it's so rewarding to me to do it. And oh, that's why I off. love doing that. So I do want to share how I feel about aging. Someone said, do you still use the Kenzie hair removal? Does it grow back after time? I don't still use it just because I'm lazy and I don't, I hate to say lazy because I'm not a lazy person, but it's not in my first list of priorities because I don't really mind shaving. I love that Billy razor and I, I kind of scrub my whole body anyway with a good body wash. It's part of feeling clean to me. So I just suds up everywhere and then I shave. But I 100% say that it works. It really, I mean, it was impressive. Remember when I did that video and I did one leg and I didn't do the other? Still to this day, one leg has more hair on it than the other, if that tells you anything. I also get a lot of questions about the new face and about the one I got from Freeze Glow Beauty. I think hers is, I'm gonna say better because it was stronger. That sucker was so strong, I could not believe it. Do I think it works? absolutely do i think you have to do it every day or every other day absolutely and i could never find a good place to put it in my daily for fuck's sake right these things take what 10 minutes 15 minutes out of your day i actually want to change in the subject i actually want to get one 
that the pampered wolf showed that her mother uses that goes round your neck and then there's a flat bit that sits on your decollete. I want that for the neck because with all the weight lost, lost, with all the weight I lost, I now have this crinkly neck. I mean, I know I'm going to have a crinkly neck. I'm fucking nearly 60, so what do you expect? But I want to get that just to see would it help my neck. But she's saying, right, all she does in her day is puts on makeup and makes a video and edits it. She can't find 15 minutes in that day to do a thing, whatever it is. John does the shopping, the cooking, the cleaning. So what is she doing that she can't, when she takes her makeup off at night, can't she do it then? I know that's when Tammy does it, isn't it? In the morning or at night when she's doing her skincare, them bobbly things. See, I'm no good with anything like that. That neck thing though, you just plug it in, clip it round your neck, press go, it switches off after 15 minutes, job done. That's the kind of thing I want suit me fine because I never remember to do things so if all I've got to do is just stick it on so what I'd say is right when I'm making a video I'll put my neck thing on she could do that she could be doing the thing while she's editing I don't have time for it in my in my busy schedule routine or in my skincare routine and that's another thing I have people ask me about is skincare skincare period and skincare during menopause so i want to do a separate video on that i tell you i hear how many separate videos are we gonna have see that's what she does oh send me in questions to give me ideas for videos because i've got no clue what to do people say they can't think of video ideas i do not have enough days in the week in the year to do all the videos i want to do okay how do you grow your hair longer can't seem to get past a certain length and my hair is full and healthy i do think that we're all we have like this set why is everyone so fucking obsessed with their hair you do know it's dead right limit and I'm not sure how long my hair would grow because Morgan says, she said, this is crazy. I think it would just grow and grow and grow. I just had two. Oh, for fuck's sake. And that's a hairdresser? Really? What the actual freak? I have, because I'm on the computer, I saw it the other day. I have a photograph of my daughter when she was little. And she's going up the stairs for her bath. And her hair is adorable. Because I was of the opinion we were going to let it grow until we had to cut it. And what did we have to cut it for? Fucking head lice at school. Thank you very much. But yeah, if I can, rem if I remember to stick it in here, I will do. Because she looks so bloody adorable. But of course your hair will just fucking grow and grow. What do you think it's going to do? It's not like one of them dollies you had when you were a kid and you could pull the hair out of their head. And it got to a certain point and it stopped. Are you of the same fucking school education as Lardy that she thought when she cut her dolly's hair it'd grow back at age seven? I fucking worry for the people that are having to deal with these people in daily life. They're a danger. Two inches cut, I think, two times ago. I usually go about every four weeks. I was actually due to go yesterday and we had to reschedule so i don't know how long mine would grow but i do think there is just like a set limit like to how far it will grow i just really what? try to be careful i really try to be careful like today i did blow dry it i took a picture last night just to show what i do i think i've actually what done a video hell? on this too my new blowout if i did i will put it up here but i blow it out and then i put a big velcro roller she looks i'm sorry i'm not meaning to be um Oh, I don't even know what it's called. In the back. When you talk about and then limit other um, races and that. But does she not look like she's got an Indian headdress on there? What the actual? 
actual fu and John has to sleep next to that poor fucker. I do. I think I've actually done a video on this too. My new blowout. If I did, I will put it up here. But I blow it out and then I put a big Velcro roller in the back. And then I clip down the sides after I blow it out so that they will stay. I like it to stay flat right here, but I like it to have some movement. I don't want it to be straight. And so I have kind of perfected that with the clips. So therefore, I get a two-day hairstyle with minimal heat. I do use a Dyson hairdryer, but if you will look this up, I'm not an expert, but I do think this, and I have read it a lot, that keeping your hair wet is also very damaging. You don't want your hair to stay wet for a long time. So if I can't let my hair air dry in the sun and warm air, I don't want to leave it wet. And to go to bed with a wet head or a worse, a wet bun is not good. Morgan said she has taken down people's hair before where they put it up wet in a bun and it actually smelled like mildewy. I want to do a video. People have asked me about things. Can it please be something other than fucking hair? That I have done through the years, like uh, lasers, filler, Botox, and plastic surgery. I want to do a video on those because I am not certainly not ashamed of anything that I have done and there is more behind it than you would think. Do I still get lip filler? No, I haven't gotten lip filler. If I can find a picture where I did have lip filler, I will put it in here. So what's the lump then? Have you got herpes instead? Here, I think it's kind of gone out of style. Fuck off, did you last get lip filler in 2015? Who's buying that? I fucking ain't. Because whatever it is you're pumping into them dissolves, so you have to get it done again. And your lips are the same size now as they were then, so fuck off, you have. Nah. Meh, meh. I don't believe you. I'll, it's not my vibe anymore. No. I've always had. Full lips run in my family. My mom and dad have full lips. My grandparents had full lips. So I already have full lip skin. The last time I ever had filler in my lips, it was that kind that's really um, thin. And it was right when I moved into that rental house. So I would say it was about two years ago. Do I think your lips after you've had Juvederm or some of those, I think that they, it builds your collagen in your lips and I think it just keeps them full for a long time. I don't it doesn't keep them a long time from 2015 to 2022 though, Lisa. So are you saying that you had lip filler two years ago then when you were in the other house? Or not, because I'm kind of lost now. I don't know if they'll ever go down completely to where they were at like ground zero. But they were really full at ground zero, weren't they? That's what you just said. But I haven't gotten filler in a long time and haven't even wanted it. That's the funny thing. Someone told me a long time ago, gosh, this is going to take forever to edit, but I'll put that video up here about why I don't want lip filler and what's even better. What's even better is a good lip liner. Like my lip liner with Christian Audette, I think it's even better at making your lips look like I want them to. I don't necessarily want my lips to be full like in projection. I would rather them take up more of my, you know, face space. You know, oh, what's this thing I'm holding on to? Oh, my face, yes. And that is how I get that, is with lip liner. Oh, gosh, Fuck this off. is a good one. Other baby names you liked but didn't use. Hmm, with Brooke, I we really just honed right in on Brooke. So, and my first name is Melissa, and so is hers. So, I really loved that Brooke was timeless. I loved that you thought of a pretty girl or a pretty woman. I oh, for fuck's sake. So that's what it was, Brooke Shields. 
Oh, they'll think she's pretty when they hear her name's Brooke. Wow. I do when I thought of the name Brooke, and John and I agreed on it like immediately. So that is, that I did not think of a lot of other names. Now, when I was pregnant with Will, before I knew he was a boy, I was thinking of Faith, because I have always loved Faith Hill. Then I thought of like, that was when the like older names became popular, like Isabel, Evelyn, stuff like that. So my grandmother's name was Annabelle and my original middle name was Anne, Melissa Ann. Now it's my maiden name as my middle name. So I really thought of Annabelle. I had a No, your middle name is still your middle name. What the fuck? You're now Melissa Ann. Whatever you were, what was it? Gertz. Melissa Ann Gertz Duncan. God, she's dim. So you think when people get married, they lose their middle name? That's just a place saver for your maiden name when you get married, is it? God alive. How did she bring up two children and they're still alive? Lardy said that in the last video I did. I can't believe I kept him alive. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing about Lisa. A lot of names and John and I had not really zeroed in on one because I found out Will was a boy like at 16 weeks. Then we went through those names. John is a major family name. I think every man I love is named John. So his first name is John. We were toying with the middle name. I like very classic, strong, easy men names. So we, you know, Matthew, Benjamin, um, and then William. And we both liked William and we both liked Will. I like that it's, it's timeless. So his name's not Will then, his name's John. I just had a- When he gets married, will he lose the Will? asking for a friend good feeling about it but i did think i like the name ben i like the name matt i'm just kind of cl a classic girl and it's all about how things make me feel okay, and then i'm going to end with this one because this is also a video that i want to do and it's how do you stay motivated to look put together every day I don't because she's got fuck all else to do all you out there who are saying, how can you be bothered to do that every day? You've probably got a house to run, things to clean, laundry to do, groceries to buy, food to cook, kids to look after, husband to organise, blah, 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 blah. And on the back burner, somewhere, eight feet in, in the rear of you is, oh, maybe I should put on some makeup. Why? Am I going out? No, I'm not bothered. There you go. Does my husband love me without my makeup on? Yes. Will he freak out if I don't have a full face of slap on every day? No. Therefore, we don't bother most of the fucking time. How does she keep motivated? It's a fucking job to go on YouTube and sell you dumb fucks stuff that she doesn't even keep half the time. Oh, it'll be linked below don't mind how I look with no makeup on you guys I don't mind I will go anywhere I'm not ashamed of how I look with no makeup but I know that I don't feel my best so this also goes along with that feminine vibe that feminine energy that makes me me and I will get into that I will tell you the exact reasons because there's almost a science behind it how that makes you feel and then what the other feelings that follow that so let me know down below i don't know i know that my demographic is my age longest audience i believe is 45 to 65 and i don't know if it's something that you guys are interested in and i don't mean it to be like a woo woo thing when i say feminine vibe i just mean it's we what's a woo woo thing I don't know what a woo woo. See your mouth open again. Every time you can click stop at any point in a Lisa video. Instant blow up doll. All have masculine and feminine in us, even men. And no. there is a reason that things 
are the way they are and I find it fascinating. So let me know if you are interested in that. So no, let's do an outfit of the day, even though you already basically know what I'm wearing. And because it's, it's a good practice for me too in this room. And thank you so much for your positive feedback on me being in this room. I won't always, I will certainly, I've got a fashion video coming up Wednesday that will be more out there in my like living room upstairs. But thank you, thank you, thank you, because I do care what you think. Okay, so the first mm -hmm. shoes I thought of putting on with this outfit are the ones that I was telling you about in my shoe video. These shoes are comfy. I can wear these for a good, I mean, hours. I was gonna wear these, but. Don't most people, when they're picking out an outfit, and then they pick out the shoes. Want a pair of shoes that they can wear all day without them killing them. Oh, I can wear these for um, uh, an hour and a half. Well, they're not fucking good shoes to buy then, are they? I just got these from, oh my goodness, ASOS. I saw a girl, oh, I'm the worst at this. I saw a girl where John can you get the label off my shoe I don't know what to do John these in a try on video and so I ordered them and I'll be daggone if they are not beautiful and easy to walk in and I think they're just really cool so let me show you I don't know there's something about this with this that I just was feeling make sure that my oh let me move this right so we're gonna have black jacket black tank top, blue jeans, and white shoes. Okay. Down here and see what happens. Okay, I don't know. Well, now that I've got my um, microphone, I'll be able to back up more. Okay, so one thing I wanted to say is these jeans are mid-rise. On me, literally my hip bones are right here, but I have a long torso. So they will probably come up to like here on the average person. They would be amazing for you if you are short-waisted. Me, I don't know. To me, it's like if I like the jeans, I'm not really worried about that. I feel like if I have a pair of jeans on that have a zipper this long, sometimes it looks crazy. Okay, the jacket and all its glory. I'm a fringe girl. Leather and fringe are part of the seasons oh, we had to know it was this season's thing and there was me thinking she was going to be joining the hell's angels trends i wouldn't even care i love this but that's why you will see more of them when you're shopping and then here are the shoes what surprised me is one they're not heavy at all i always think these wedgie things like this are going to be heavy and they don't flip and flop like when you walk your foot just stays like, let me see if I can show you. It, it just has that perfect like foot, the top that keeps your foot very, very stable. Honestly, Lisa, if you're gonna be a fashion advisor, at least know what things are called. In these. So I don't want them to sell out before you guys grab them because they were not expensive at all. And which not expensive were these shoes? Were these the really, really expensive, not expensive, or the mid range expensive, not expensive? And for accessories, I have my favorite earrings. Like, what? It's so weird how something just grabs me. And it's these earrings. I mean, I love the black ones, but there's just something about these clear ones it just looks like a big fat diamond but that's why you love it because you think people are looking at it saying wow hasn't she got huge diamond earrings but in a edgy way and then i still had my lisa necklace on because it's gold it's like solid. will you stop banging the fucking microphone it's what really gold not like it's expensive but it, what i'm saying is it's not going to turn so i've just been you know taking showers and everything with it anyway this is the ring that matches the earrings and i've got on my watch my rolex this is the 
I can't remember um, the true name of it, but it's the nickname of it is the Tiffany Blue. My nail polish is Funny Bunny, one of my classics. And That's the thing. I think I've said it before, or I thought I've said it. For a woman that's got nine million different pairs of shoes and clothes and makeup and all the rest of it, she really doesn't... What's the word? wander far from her comfort zone when it comes to her nail polishes it's either fucking funny bunny bubble bath cajun shrimp there's a strawberry one in there somewhere you don't know jack and that navy one whatever that is but that's it opi there's but about 10 opi colors that she uses and that's it nothing else that's sad and oh this is going to be a long video would you guys be interested in no some nail videos like my favorite colors i was going to do i know what your favorite colors are love i've just said my top 10 opi nail colors that every woman should own and i just want to tell you how much i love you and how oh. important you are you guys are just this whole thing this whole youtube thing is so rewarding to me and i appreciate you so much if you would subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up because that helps me know that i'm doing the right thing it helps me reach more people and i think it's just a good thing all in all it increases our little club here so thank you so much and i will see you soon bye bye Oh, thank fuck. Hello, Chanel. <sighs> Did anyone learn anything? Because I fucking didn't. Anyway, if you lasted this long with me, thank you very much. And I will catch you in the next one.